We've got numbers down into the low 50s in a lot of locations, so it's uh, it's chilly in spots. All right, let's talk about beta because beta is expected to bring us some rain a little bit later on in the week. This morning we've just got some high clouds around winds right now with beta 40 miles an hour. It's moving northwest at about three miles an hour. There's the uh, position of the storm. It is currently inland over Texas and expected to take a northeast turn here, and so it'll continue to weaken as it hugs the Texas coast, moving into Louisiana. Louisiana by late Wednesday night and then during the day on Thursday heading into a Mississippi and it's expected to pull in a lot of tropical moisture and rain our direction as we head into uh, later Wednesday and into Thursday. Let's start you off this morning. So bottom line for today is it'll still be breezy. Clouds will continue to increase with time. You'll notice tomorrow morning there may be a few spotty showers around to start the day. I think a couple more in the afternoon, but the bulk of the rain expected to really move in as we head into uh, notice sort of about nine o'clock here on Wednesday night and you can start to see some of that heavier rain moving into central Alabama. Rain likely Wednesday into Thursday. Notice we're at 9 a.m. on Thursday morning, and then that heavier rain expected to continue through a good portion of the day on Thursday, maybe tapering off a little bit as we head into Friday too. But the bottom line for the weekend right now is it still looks muggy. It still looks a little unsettled with some clouds around, and so we'll at least keep rain chances going for Friday and into the weekend. But certainly Wednesday night into Thursday looks to be the uh, the days that are at least the time frame where it should be the wettest. Here's a look at some of those forecast rain totals and you can see especially up here as you go north and west of 5920 where it looks like we could see on the order of two to four inches that could cause some aerial flooding maybe in spots uh, maybe even some flash flooding as well and so we'll have to keep an eye on that for that good maybe 36 to 48 hour period so rain chances climbing tomorrow will go with about a 40 percent chance but really coming up by wednesday night and into thursday especially we've made thursday an impact day as it really looks like that day will be when we get some of the heaviest rain. Look at these numbers down to 50 in Gadsden, 53 in Anniston at this hour. Clouds will increase today, breezy with mid 70s expected, and then some showers arriving tomorrow. Impact today on Thursday with heavy rain at times, and then the chance for at least some scattered showers and remaining muggy through the weekend. Back to you. All right, so 520 and a half on your Tuesday morning. Things are looking good.